How's it going, everyone? Maryland here, that's right. It's time for more of the Pokemon Y Monotype. And last time we arrived over in, uh, where is this place? Uh, <laughs> I always forget this. Uh, Coomarine. That's what I thought. I always get Coomarine mixed up with the other one. What am I thinking of? What am I thinking of? It's the one with the waterfalls. Over here. No, not Anastar. Kuroe, that's the other one. There's like too many names that are too similar. All right, so yeah, anyway, we're in Kumarine. Not Kuroe, Kumarine. So here's a look at my Pokemon. We have Fleur Rouge, fully evolved now. That's pretty nice. Um, but the thing is, I don't know if I want to use her or not. Like, we kind of have two bulky Pokemon. We have her and we have Magic Beam. Both are very similar in their roles, so I really don't know. Um, neither are really going to help right now, so... Because <laughs> uh, we need to deal with Go-Go, so we're definitely going to need Bitterdale. Not for Go-Go, but just in general. I actually don't know what I'm going to do against Go-Go. Let me take a look at my options. I think we might need to bring back, um, my Gramble. Let's see. Yeah. I think that's probably going to be the way we do this. What don't we need right now? Honestly, we don't really need Cute Whisker. I'm sorry, Cute Whisker, but electric? Like, we don't need an electric type and a grass type gym, so I guess we'll go with Wrinkle Bite. All right, let me go ahead and update the layout. That page open. All right, so we're leaving behind Cute Whisker for right now. Or Wrinkle Bite. All right, there we go. Hey, Peachy, the shiny Pichu, subscribing for the 22nd month in a row. Really do appreciate the 22 months of big service and support. That is awesome. I don't know what's up with the the style on the alert. It's kind of weird. Didn't show. <laughs> Muxie, why are you doing this? Hopefully Muxie will work. I mean, at least show the alerts. So that's good. All right, so we got to do this. Oh, man. I actually think this might be a tough gym because our power hitter, Sunshore, he, uh, he's not going to be very good in this gym. And on top of that, we don't really have any powerful moves. Oh, you know what? There's actually one thing, uh, I got to fix here. I got to do this. Hey, thanks, Donna. I actually, um, I'm using fantasynamegenerators.com. They're fairy name generator to generate the names. And there's been some pretty good ones. Pretty good ones. Okay, so we need to get Aerial Ace. That's the thing that I kind of forgot about, sort of. Sort of, kind of. So, if we get that, and then maybe put that on, like, hopefully Wrinkle Bite. But put it on someone, we'll be in better shape. So the downside is we have to go far back. And I need to fight some trainers. But I think we'll be able to do that. Let me just get something with Cut and something with Strength. Because I'd rather not have to teach that on my main team. Um, I don't know if we should... Put away like lure right now. I just I wanted to evolve her. Oh, who gets cut? I actually don't know who gets cut. This is gonna be interesting. Um Alright, I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna put away like a few Pokemon temporarily. Because I know you get strength. Which we do need. I need cut. I don't know. Who can learn cut? <laughs> uh, maybe a flower. Let's just see. The, today's TM at the Cape. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, so... Strength. Yeah, we can put that on a zoom around. Cut. No one can learn cut. Can anyone learn cut? I would have expected at least Mawile. Apparently not. Alright, so not for babe. The babe. 
Uh, maybe, Dedene. Maybe. We'll find out. Alright, let's see. I'm not gonna update the layout, by the way. Okay, cool. So, I guess... I guess they're gonna have to put cut on cute Whisker. There's really no way around it. But... I don't think she's gonna be on the team forever, so... It's probably fine that we do this. I just don't know. Like, I kind of want Volt Switch. We could get rid of Nuzzle. Like, it's nice to paralyze, but... I don't know. Actually, I feel like we need to get rid of Volt Switch. I don't think Ramos has a Grass Poison type. Doesn't he have Weeping Bell? Pretty sure that's a Grass Poison type. Um, I know it has a Poison move. Yeah, I think we need to get rid of Volt Switch. Like, it's nice, but I think we can get it as a TM. And even at that, like, I think the healing's a little better. Okay, let's do that. Because I don't think anyone else could. I don't think Eevee gets cut. That'd be the only other option. Alright, let's swap these around. <sighs> what is going on with the CS- Oh, you know what? I think I know what it is. Oh, no, that's my bad. Okay, so I was doing some server things, and yeah, I ended up, I thought there was nothing on one of the servers, but apparently there was. So, that's unfortunate. It is my bad. It's not Muxy. Oh, darn it. Um, I'll have to see what I can do about that, because it looks really ugly right now. I think what we'll do, we'll just have to turn it off for the moment. Uh, but anyway, Rising Star Elijah subscribing for the 15th month in a row, saying resub time again. Hey, well, thank you so much for the 15 months of big service and support. Really do appreciate that. Yeah, so I had custom styles for my alerts, right? Well, I had to do some server switching around and deleting and stuff like that, so yeah, unfortunately. I, I guess I had something on there after all. I was like, I don't have anything on that server, do I? But I guess I just had a CSS style sheet, so. Oh well. All right, we gotta go back. This is definitely going to be pretty nice to have Thunder Wave and uh, Aerial Ace. I think Aerial Ace on Bitterdale will be pretty helpful. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's do that, because I think Aerial Ace will be a pretty big help right now. We don't really have any super powerful Fairy-type moves. I mean, there's no Dazzling Gleam, there's no Moonblast yet, so I guess I should probably update the layout, too. Um... Okay. The alert sound will still play, it's just it's not going to show up. It will show up for the bit boss, though. Yeah, I had to get the Maryland forum server switched out because we were having uh, issues with email, actually. Who did I replace? Who's missing here? Oh, we don't have Magic Beam, okay. Uh, we have Q Whisker. We don't really... No, I guess we do need Cute Whisker. Okay, there we go. Uh, but yeah. We have to fight some trainers. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it was a lot of work getting the forum switched over. And, well, actually, that wasn't that bad. The main thing that was a pain was... Trying to figure out the email issues. This is not having any luck with that at all. But then I realized it's actually because it was on... There's an issue with the IP address. So I don't know. It was, it was just confusing, but I managed to figure it out, which is good. Oh, this is actually not going to hurt. That wasn't too bad. Uh, I'm not playing Deltarune right now, the live Papyrus. I'm playing Pokemon Y. You can find my opinion on Deltarune on my Deltarune playthrough.
Hmm, I could use Wish. Probably should have used Wish, but this thing might hit hard if it hits a Slash. So let's just get rid of it now. Poros. Oh, this thing. Um... You know what? I actually think we should send out Bitterdale here. Get that Intimidate. Yeah, that's totally fine, Spacey Phoenix. I mean, one thing I definitely need to remind everyone, the forums are not run by me. Like, they are run by the previous team over on Azuraland. I have, like, no control or really much input other than just kind of the legal stuff. So, like, their policy on swearing is obviously a lot different. Same with their Discord. I have no control over that. If I had it my way, I would have it entirely different, but it's not really what it's about. Hopefully someday they'll kind of change it so it'll be more family-friendly. Like, there's not as much I can do if it isn't. I know it's kind of intimidating for a lot of people who are used to my community, so it, it's not my community. I think that's really what, what's important to understand. But it is still the community that had been around in some incarnation for a while, so I'm glad to help them out. But that means if there's any issues, don't <laughs> don't contact me about it, all right? Not anything I can do. It'll just be in parallel with the website. All right, so this kid, I don't remember what he has. Cute Whisker, you already have an item. Hey, thanks for the super potion. All right, I guess we'll let you fight. Key Whisker might actually help in the next gym too, which is gonna be tough. All the electric types will need to fight. I know we get bulldoze, but still, I think Wrinkle Bite will help. But the Magneton is gonna be a pain. This is good. This is not. <laughs> Detene is so cute. It really is. Nice. Hey, thank you so much, Dr. Cat Astro, for subscribing for the fourth month in a row. Really do appreciate that. Sorry that the notifications are not working properly today. It's actually my fault, not Muxy's fault. Um, I have to get the CSS for it back up, which I hope I have around. I'm going to be pretty sad if I don't. Uh, does Watson have a YouTube channel? I don't know. But if he does, he doesn't, like, he's not, like, a YouTuber. He doesn't post things on it. It'd just be, like, a personal account. Oh, this thing kind of worries me. I should probably send out Bitterdale. That was a nice crit. Oh, I'm gonna get Poison Tailed. No, I'm not. Okay, well, I guess I shouldn't send out Bitterdale anymore. Okay, let's just go for Parabolic Charge. Let's just do this. All day long. Double Protect! Yo! Good job, Cute Whisker. And a Mothim. Hey, that's also something you can do pretty well with. Oh, you know what's going to be great? We're going to get Thunderbolt from the next... Or not the next gym, but from Clement's gym. So that'll be really good. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, let's just nuzzle for the win. I love having so many Pokemon with Charm, too. I think that's going to be really helpful. Because Charm with so many Pokemon that have high special defense is just great. Okay, I mean, this is fine. We do need to get some experience here. Uh, let's see. Let's get Wrinkle Bite a little bit. I think we have to fight Viper and... Oh, if we had to fight Viper, 
Maybe I should send out Bitterdale. Actually, no, if we have to do that, I'll just switch for Bitterdale. <laughs> Get a double Intimidate. I think that'll be the best. All right, yep, that's the Viper. Poison. Why, Bitterdale's so important. I can't wait until he gets, like, a ground-type move. Actually, I wonder... We got Dig, right? I don't remember... I think Bitterdale can learn it. I've just said no. But that's kind of silly now, isn't it? Also, I am totally wearing... <laughs> some, uh, very... Very shiny... Shiny, uh... Things, some clothes. It's kind of weird, but yeah, uh, these are green, so they're getting eaten by the green screen. It's kind of funny, but yeah. Hey, thank you so much, Vizzy, for the bits. Really do appreciate that. Sorry, notifications are kind of kind of broken right now, but I still really do appreciate that. At least the bit boss works. Yeah, my clothes are shiny. I like this shirt, though. It's a nice blue. It's just, it has, like, green... There's, like, two pieces of green right there. And it always messes up while streaming. It doesn't always matter, but with this background, it totally matters, so... Just pretend it's supposed to look that way. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Oh, there's the mill tank. That thing's kinda... Hmm... Power up punch. Oh, I'm at minus six. I should probably get out of here. I just realized I got screeched like a million times. I don't know what this thing's gonna do. Zen headbutt. This could actually really hurt. That was fairly strong. Um, we have to intimidate. We also have the power up punch. I completely forgot. I was in minus six until after I used the attack. It's like, oh, this is probably gonna be bad, isn't it? Okay. Uh, you don't have power up punch. That's kind of sad. You have bite, though. Oh! Why do you do this to me? Oh, this thing's so bulky. I could probably switch back out of Bitterdale. I should charm. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Well, it might not even be necessary. You're pretty much on your last legs, so... As long as you don't set up a rollout train, I think we'll be okay. Ah! Uh, I'm gonna flinch now. Or not flinch, but be paralyzed. Or I'm gonna die. Okay. Could have sworn it wasn't doing that much. Like, that must have been right on the edge. Alright, well, I guess we'll give the experience to Fleur. By the way, for everyone tuning in, like, just skipping all the episodes... <laughs> yes! I know that Fleur is not spelled right. That's kind of intentional. There's always going to be someone on YouTube that's like, But... Why isn't it spell right? It's like, well, why didn't you watch all of it? Ooh, Baton Pass. Actually, no, that's not necessary. You don't really get that many good moves. Although that would be fun with Power Up Punch, but honestly, everyone who would benefit from Power Up Punch can get Power Up Punch anyway, so I don't think we need Baton Pass. It would be nice with Iron Defense, though, but that's not really the way that I want to go. Hmm, all right. The good news is I think, uh... We're good on trainer fights. This is the thing that I wanted. It's the leftovers. Very worth getting. But I didn't have anyone with cut earlier. Now that I know only Cute Whisker can get cut, I guess uh, well, that makes it pretty obvious. Um, I probably should heal up, but I think we fought everyone. I think. Actually, can I heal up over here?
Let's find out. Well, not over here, but, you know, I can get another one of these just in case. I don't know! I really don't know. Uh, I have it anyway, so there. I think there is an item in here, though. Yo! Attract! We need that on, uh, Flirty Toes. Alright, I knew there was something. Okay, I'm glad that I remember that. It might actually be good on someone else, like... Let's see... Hmm... So... Ramos has male Pokémon, I'm pretty sure. So, we'd have to use something female... ...to benefit from Attract. So, pretty much that's, like, Wrinkle Bite. Because I don't think we're bringing Fleur. I don't know what Fleur would do against Go-Goat. Oh well. That's also something to consider for Lamont. Although, really, the main thing we're worried about is Magneton. <sighs> Alright, thank you for the healing. Do I need Cut anymore? Should I maybe, like, go back and get some other things with Cut? I'm gonna get Fly soon anyway, so... Uh, we need strength. Yeah, let's, uh... Put on a repel. Okay, maybe not literally a repel. Do a super repel. Alright. I don't have to deal with any stupid wobble feds. <laughs> no! Wait, oh, I didn't ever teach strength to wave sugar. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be using her. Other than for HMs. Um... Let's get rid of defense curl. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, Fleur evolved at the very end of the last stream. Still need Carbink. <laughs> I don't think Carbink will really help, although... No, nah, it probably still wouldn't help against... Uh, ooh, you know what? I have Cut. Wouldn't really help against Clement either. Oh, nice, Spacey Phoenix! That's great! Yeah, so guys, I was kind of, like, talking about a possibility. I have so many games in my backlog, and so many games that I haven't even played, like, haven't even touched. Okay, so, I was kind of thinking it'd be a neat idea for a... I don't need a repel. Actually, I probably do need a repel, but whatever. I think it'd be a nice idea if I just made, like, a resolution. Okay, play one new game each week, and cut for anything right now. You know what, there's like an item I guess I could get over on Route... S route 7? Which is kind of where we're going. But yeah, anyway. I was thinking it'd be nice if I had... That as a goal of... Alright, play through. Not entirely, it doesn't have to be, you know, more than like an hour or two. But just play one new game per week. And if I like it, great, I can keep playing it. But I don't have to feel like... Oh, I gotta beat this. You know, it'd be actually kind of the opposite of that. So, I think that could be kind of cool. And I also was thinking, well, you know, maybe I could stream it, too. Like, I don't know if I'd want to do that or not. Okay, this is Thunder Wave. I mean, I there's a berry over here. So I don't know if I'd stream it or not, but I think that could be kind of neat if we had one stream a week be of, uh, you know, a game that I've never played before. And then maybe you guys could try to do that, too. Like, it doesn't have to be the same game I'm playing, but if you had, you know, a rather large backlog of games, because I personally use the site Backloggery to track all my games, although I haven't really... I haven't updated it lately, and I'm really worried. I have so many, and I'd like to get a new hard drive for my computer just to put Steam games on, like, just so I can have them all downloaded and all available to play whenever. Uh, I don't really need a repel anymore. 
I say. Aw, it's a snubble though. Do you have Intimidate? You don't, so you're not gonna do me any good, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, you know, if by chance it had Intimidate, it could be like Adamant Nature or something. That'd be nice. Wait, is there an item over here? I think that'd be a good spot to hide one. Eevee! I don't need an Eevee. I have a modest one. It's about as good as we're gonna get. Well, a modest Sylveon. Certain farming games in my backlog. I do. I realized I had Rune Factory for PS3. By the way, my PS3 died. I need to get a new PS3 now. Uh... I'll probably get, like, a slim or super slim. Let's register this thing. Okay. Yeah, it's, like, overheating when it really shouldn't be, because, like, it just shuts down after, like, three minutes or so. The weird thing is, it happened after I updated, too, so I'm not even sure. Maybe it was the update that killed it. But, yeah, it just keeps blinking red after a few seconds. And from what I was researching, that's because it is trying to prevent it from overheating and, like, damaging the GPU. So basically, the fix would be, like, completely tear it apart and reapply thermal paste. Yeah, that just... It was hard enough getting the hard drive out of there. Oh my gosh! You're the only one who gets Aerial Ace. Well, that's bad. Hmm. <laughs> I was really hoping that Bitterdale would at least get it. Oh, wait. You know what? Let's have a shortcut here. Yeah, so that's unfortunate. So I need to get a new PS3, but they're cheap now. It's not really... Like, it's... 100 bucks, 120 bucks, maybe, at GameStop. Wow, that's so sad. You can't run away from a level, what, 15 Metatite? Why are you leading right now? But yeah, I was really sad, too, because I just wanted to unwind last night. And I just wanted to, like, I was finally going to play Nino Kuni. I've had that for years. And I've just been waiting for the right time to play it. And I was actually seriously going to play it last night. And then my PS3, it's like, oh, you need to update. I'm like, oh, come on. And I did. It's like, I just want to play my game, gosh darn it. So I update it. And then it, like, died. <laughs> so, yeah, it really stinks. So it's like, I want to get a PS3. Or I want to have one. I don't want to technically have a new one. Like, I'd rather just use the one I had, but it's broken. Oh, right. I have to fight you, and you take, like, a million years. No mercy. No. Uh. Yeah. So. Yep. That's kind of... That was my last night. But, I guess on the, uh, the other hand, I kind of got back to playing, what is it, um, Fire Emblem Awakening. I have such a, such a history with that. Like, I think I played it way back. Like, I got it when I was, I don't know, going on a flight or something, and I, I played a little bit of it. And I was going to, like, Iron Man it, so I wouldn't, uh, oh, I guess I probably could use Parabolic Charge. I was thinking, oh, don't you resist fairy? Well, yeah, but... Electric isn't fairy. <sighs> um, yeah, anyway. I I just completely got wrecked, because I was playing in classic on hard mode. And I'm not like the best Fire Emblem player, but I've been watching a lot of Fire Emblem uh, videos lately. So it's like, ooh, I kinda wanna play some now. So I like when I played way back, I lost like so many people in chapter five. But thankfully I had a save in chapter four. So I'm just gonna play it not Iron Man. I'm just gonna be like, okay. So I replayed the the fourth chapter. 
That was fine. And then I played through chapter five that got me like badly last time. And I got through it without any deaths, so that was great. Like, I feel like I just was able to handle things better, so I don't know. I just want to get to the point where my units are, like, really powerful. They're <laughs> just kicking butt left and right. That's what always feels good in Fire Emblem games. I wanted to play Shining Force. That's actually what started this. I was really excited for Shining Force 2 being released on the phone, and Shining Force 1, Shining in the Darkness for that matter, because that's the series I grew up with. I grew up with Shining Force. And I love those games. Are there any cut bushes over here? I know that there's one, but it's not like that great. So I think we're just going to ignore it. Uh, yeah, anyway, I was excited for it. But then I found out the port was like really bad. It was just a really, really poorly made one. So for the phone, it's just completely dashed my hopes. <laughs> so I'm going to wait until the Sega Genesis Classic comes out for the Switch. And then I'll just play that. Which has it. Actually, there's a lot of really good games on that from when I was looking. I think it's the Sega Genesis Classic. Whatever the one coming out for the Switch in a few days or weeks or something, like this month. Whatever that is, that's that's a good value. Because there's Fantasy Star 2, 3, 4. There's Shining Force 1 and 2. What else is there? Let me look. I'm actually, like, legitimately excited for it. Uh... Okay, oh, it's December 7th, so it's like a month. Okay. So let's see. Where are the games that it comes with? There's like a, a lot of good... What? Oh, it's the day Smash comes out. Oh, well, I mean, that's smart. All right, so all the games that it comes with, it would take so long to to name them all. So I'll just name the ones that I'm like excited about. So Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bee Machine, just if I want some Puyo Puyo. Dynamite Heady, I love that game. Um, Kid Chameleon, I feel like I played a long time ago. Yeah, there's Fantasy, Fantasy Star 2, Fantasy Star 3, Fantasy Star 4, Shining in the Darkness, Shining Force, Force Shining Force 2, Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Sonic 3D Blast, Sonic Spinball, I love that. Toe Jam and Earl 1 and 2. Like, that's great! And those are just the games that I like. like. There's a whole bunch of other things. But that's like, that's a good value in my opinion. Like, you know, sometimes they like re-release things that are like, I feel like it's not really a good value. Like, okay, prime example. NES Classic. Like, I grew up with the NES. That was, you know, my first, uh, first console system, first gaming system. I did like the games for it, but do I really feel like I want to spend 60 bucks to play like a few old games? Like if they had more RPGs or games that, you know, lasted a reasonable amount of time, yeah, you know, then it'd be a good deal. But I just feel like there aren't enough hours of kind of like playtime that you get out of it to really warrant me getting one. Like, it's just kind of a novelty. However, the SNES Classic, even though it's 20 bucks more, I feel like it's quite the contrary. I feel like the game selection there is really good. Because you have very solid RPGs like Final Fantasy, well, 3, it was released as. I mean, we all know it's Final Fantasy 6, but yeah, they still list it as Final Fantasy 3. And I understand that. Um, I miss an item? Oh. Uh, but yeah, you know, Final Fantasy... 3 slash 6. Uh, Earthbound. Um, Super Mario RPG, I believe. I feel like there are some others. Like, honestly, even just for those three. But also Super Mario World 1 and 2, Donkey Kong Country, um, Star Fox, Link to the Past. I mean, there's just, like, so many good games on there that give a lot of time. Uh, a lot of, like, gameplay time, which is really good. Oh, I guess I don't need strength anymore, so we can put away wave sugar. Let's do that. I don't know, I just feel like that was a good deal. And similarly, Sega Genesis Classics, that just seems like a really good deal, too. Which is great, I, I do like good deals. Okay, Magic Beam. 
Why do I have the Miracle Seed? I feel like I... Yeah, I think I just swapped items around. Oh, no, we do need Wave Sugar. I'm sorry. We need to surf. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, yeah, Kirby Superstar. That's right. That was another great game. Like, I just feel like the hours of gameplay you get with that are better than the NES. And then for the PlayStation Classic or whatever their version is, I don't know. Like, okay, there's Final Fantasy VII, but there's not really that many other games that interest me. There are some decent games on the uh, PlayStation, but I feel like you could just... Well, okay, I guess getting a Vita would be more expensive, but I have a Vita, and I, I like my Vita. I honestly do. Like, it's great having all the PlayStation games that I really want portable. Legally. Wonderful. But yeah, I mean, you know, there's no Final Fantasy IX, for instance. And there's like a lot of games that, I don't know, I just feel like they could have done a little better. <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing a lot of people in chat kind of agree. PS1 Classic got so much backlash. Missing way too much. Oops, this isn't where I want to go. <laughs> That's a good point, Brian. How do you have a PS1 Classic and not have the mascot characters crash in Spyro? Yeah, I've never really played those. I think I technically played a little bit of a demo of both of them, but neither really excited me. Ew, embargo. Well, I guess we'll get that. So... Yeah, I might... Like, I'm kind of tempted to get the Spyro remaster, just so I can experience it. It was something that I didn't really experience as a kid. Like, I had a PlayStation, but I was more about, like, Monster Rancher <laughs> and Tony Hawk back then. Like, that was great. Oh, yeah, I guess where I was going with that is I feel like the uh, Sega Genesis Classic was a really good value compared to that. The PS1 Classic. And compared to the NES Classic, you know, it's like you can have good values and bad values. I'll let you know, but I tell you, Shining Force and Shining Force 2 are great. Even though they aren't, like, super hardcore, like Fire Emblem, there's no permadeath, they're, they're really good. <laughs> like, I don't know, I just, I love them. Uh, anyway, thank you so much! Uh, let's see if I can get this right. I'm not sure if it's... Oh, okay, you did a username change. I was wondering about that. Uh, let me know if it's Dranoko or Dr. Enoko. Nine. Uh, but anyways, Gaia did a username change 15 months too. Well, thank you so much for super subscribing. Been a subscriber now for 15 months in a row. Really do appreciate that big service and support. Um, and yeah, sorry notifications are not showing up right now. Uh, that was actually my bad. I, I deleted the server that had the CSS on it, so... Whoops. <laughs> My bad. Alright. Anyway. Okay, it's the first one. Renoko. Alright, because you see there's a Dr. Cat Astro. I think it is. Which always makes me think it's like dark something. It's like, no, 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 that's not right. Alright, anyway. Uh, Let's see. I would like Magic Beam. I also like you. You have Wish, and you have Nature Power. Wait, what does Nature Power do in the gym? I think it's just like Tri-Attack. Which wouldn't really be that useful. Right? Probably not. <laughs> not Nuzlocke? Yeah, I know. I'm a filthy casual. Okay, let's see. But at least I know how to stay awake. <laughs> Too soon? <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Oh, it's so weird to have that series done on YouTube now. The, uh, the Wonder Sleep Lock. Like, wow. That was something. <laughs> I know, we had the most toxic chat here, thanks to you, Watson. <laughs> the most toxic. Oh, man. All right, let's see. We need to get rid of someone. Oh, we were gonna get rid of Cute Whisker. Just temporarily, because, like, Electric doesn't really help right now. Sorry, Cute Whisker. 
Okay, so Cute Whisker is gone and Wave Sugar is gone. Now we have Sun, Shore, and Sumeril. And we have Magic Beam. All right, there we go. Q Whisker's not going to be doing that much with Aerial Ace with, like, 43 attack. I mean, like, really. Bruce is around an item from Raid all F4. I still haven't gone through the thing. I had to work on the forums, like, all of my day off. Uh, so I can, I can try, but I'll probably be pretty exhausted. Not gonna lie. Usually the double streaming days kind of wear me out. All right, let's see. But if you're around tomorrow, or if he's available tomorrow, might be able to do that. Okay, so I guess we can go into the gym now. You do not need this. Actually, no one needs that right now. We need leftovers. Uh, I guess we'll put that here. Oh, did I get anything else interesting? Not really. All right. Let's have magic beam lead just to see what happens. We're gonna run into some poison types here. I just know it. I also don't think we're gonna get through this gym entirely before the break, but we'll at least get some progress done in here. Or I think I can sneak through and just fight like two people. I think. Although one of them has an executor, so that's not fun. Semi Sage. Ugh. All right, this is gonna be fun. Oh, level 32, what is up? Uh... Yeah, I just don't have the power right now. Yeah, I am still taking a zoom reel in here just because like in a pinch, he can hit pretty hard. Like he'll be able to at least survive one hit. Oh my gosh, that did so much damage. Um... I think I need Bitterdale. Why don't you get Aerial Ace? Alright, uh, I think we'll get the most mileage out of Power Up Punch. Honestly, I should just put the leftovers on you. <laughs> I think that'll be the best option here for the NPCs using experience share. See, that's the thing, like, everyone's like, oh, you get so overleveled in this game. Like, literally, just turn off the experience share. Look, it's all you need to do. Do that and don't catch, like, a billion Pokemon. You actually have trainers at decent levels. In fact, it's actually too high of a level. Oh, then I have to get rid of the Quick Claw. Actually, that's fine. Let's just swap these items around. And thinking about it, I could have just, you know, did the item swap thing, but I thought about swapping them after I'd done that, so whoops. Okay. Guess I'm not going to heal Magic Beam. Okay, and I think it was over here... No. Like, if I just avoid fighting most of the trainers here, I might be able to take on the gym leader. Rook. 
think there's one more trainer we have to fight after her. Great, I can't even punch this one. Yeah, Twiggy, that's right. How could I forget? I know that she had a memorable name, I just forgot it. Uh... Well, I don't have to worry about Poison Point. Probably gonna outspeed me, though. Yeah, Giga Drain. Ooh. Whoa! Alright, it's fine, though. We got the real deal if we use Rock Tomb. Oh, Grass Whistle, that's not good. Okay, is that gonna be enough of a speed drop, though? That's what I need to know. Man, I wish I could do enough with Power Up Punch to take you out, but I don't think I'm going to. Okay, good. The Rock Tomb was smart. Should have really just done that from the start. I knew that that thing would be faster than me. <laughs> Alright, well, Bitterdale's just gonna get a lot of experience here, I think. He's pretty much the, the main one that can get through this mess. Wormadam. Uh, Grass Wormadam, so that's fine. Oh, right, but you know what? I got Rock Tomb. Wow, you're slow. Okay, that's nice. Razor Leaf. Not a problem at all. At least it shouldn't be. Oh, yeah, eat it for breakfast. Ugh, Twiggy. She's the one with the Executor, I think. What do I do against that mess? I don't even know! Blood of Tears of Regret. All right, let's go. <laughs> uh, we gotta go up and around, I think. You know, the sad thing is, in reality, this gym is very boring. There's like, like it's not that interesting at all. And it takes forever. Okay, so this is the final, final fight here. Here, have a fizzy drink. Just one. Uh... Executor, what do I do against you? I think we're gonna send out Wrinkle Bite. <laughs> Regular Executor doesn't look right anymore, yeah. Here we go. You're gonna see. Something you probably haven't seen in a while. Oh, Gloom. Okay, that's not what I was expecting! Uh, and it probably has Acid, but I'm kind of thinking... I might just want to deal with it. Because I don't think it has, like, Sludge or Sludge Bomb yet. Ooh, I could dig. But honestly, that's not going to be that effective. Let's just Headbutt. How much is that going to do? Lynch! Nice! Nice! There we go. Stun Spore. You monster! Hmm, that's really gonna hurt against Exeggutor. Lucky Chant. Oh. No! There go my chances of getting crits. Hey, thanks, Ame. Okay, there we go. Thankfully, we didn't need the crit. That was a close damage range, too, I feel. Alright, here's that Exeggutor. Oh, this thing is bulky as sin. Let's see how much a bite does. Psy Shock, huh? Oh, man, that did a lot. That also did a lot. Hmm. Okay. Oh, Psy Shock, though. This is interesting. How do I want to deal with this? Because that's going to get around Magic Beam and Fleur's defenses, like special defense. Well, Bitterdale has pretty good defense. Where is his head? Or where's his neck? It looks so derpy now. Oh, yeah. Okay, fine. I could have just done bite. Would have been fine. Alright, uh. Oh, it's faster than me. That's not good. I probably should do Rock Tomb. We'll see how much this does. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. We'll just use Bite. 
Oh, hey, lucky chat we're off. No flinch? Darn it. Got flinched after all. No, sh no side shock, please. Okay, confusion. In before it does, you know what? Oh, it didn't. Hey. All right, that thing is gone. Getting some experience. All right, now we get to take on the gym leader. I guess I should probably just do it. We can probably do it in this amount of time. Okay, let's heal everyone up. Nope. Okay, so we have to fight against um the one thing first. Jump Luff. And that thing's scary because it has acrobatics. So I think leading with Bitterdale is going to be the best here. Then I don't know what we're going to do against Go Goat. And I know Go Goat will be coming out next, so we'll switch out Bitterdale probably to Wrinkle Bite. Ugh, it's a scary. Okay, let's do this. Come on. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, is that kind of looks like mine? Kind of. All right, Ramos is the name. What do you think, Ripper Snapper? Yeah, I've had to do his voice so many times over the years that I actually do kind of like his voice. But yeah, he's pretty forgettable. Most of the time. Most of the time he's really easy, but every now and then. <laughs> Depending on your team, he can give you some trouble, and I think today he might. That go-go. A little rough. Um, all right, so. Oh, we have Rock Tomb. That's right. That's really good. Yeah, here's that acrobatics. How hard is that going to hit today? Oh, not bad at all. Of course I missed with a 90% attack. Leech Seed. Oh, that's not what I want. Ooh, so you know what? We're doing just enough damage that he's probably going to heal, and I'd much rather him use his potions on Jump Love. As long as Jump Love does acrobatics and not Leech Seed. Leech Seed is going to be very annoying. Okay, this is actually fine. Because you're going to miss. Or not miss, you're going to heal. Theoretically, I could power a punch too, but I kind of want him to burn his healing items now. Ooh, that was a strong hit. Okay. Well, he might be slow enough now. Yeah, I outspeed. Okay, well, we at least burn one of them. Oh, hey, <laughs> darn it. Oh, no, not the leech seed. That's not good. Oh, that is not good. You're probably going to heal again, right? I'm just going to go for Rock Tomb. Yep. Healing again. Because I think it'd be three turns either way. Ugh. So nasty. I could switch out, but I feel like I kind of have this thing right where I want it. Okay, and it'll lure out Go Go, which we really need. Although theoretically, I could switch out and just have it, you know, lure something else. Well, I think either way is gonna send out Go Go. Um, I'm gonna go for Bite. Just so it won't miss. <laughs> uh, there we go. Alright, so that was enough. So here comes Go Goat. I'm pretty sure of that. Yep. Okay, uh. So I think, regardless, if we can pull off the Intimidate, I think that'll really help.
Okay, Wrinkle Bite. This thing's only six levels higher than you. Oh, use Grass Knot. What? Oh, that's weird. <laughs> oh, man. Um. That's actually not going to do that much to Sunshore, because he's pretty light. Hey, let's use Dig. <laughs> uh, let's not. Let's use Headbutt and see what happens. Oh, this takedown is going to hurt. Oh, that wasn't that bad. But I am going to have to switch, so that's not good. Alright, um... Well, it says Charm. You don't have Charm. Uh... You do, right? No, you don't. That's Sweet Kiss, though. I don't think you're going to be able to take these hits. Hey, thank you, Lightning Place, for the raid! Really do appreciate that. Sorry we don't have alerts going on right now. But I do appreciate the raid nonetheless. Okay, um... How do I fight this thing? Jeez. Okay, hey, and thank you so much, Lightning Place, for subscribing for the 22nd month in a row. Let's just send out Cloud Fee and see what happens. Sorry, I'm kind of focused on this. Uh, but I really do appreciate the 22 months of big service and support. This is probably gonna do too much. Oh, wow, no, that's... that's not that bad. Alright, now the question is, do I go for the Sweet Kiss or not? This Draining Kiss might actually keep up. I think we're gonna do that. Oh, nice! Nice avoid. Oh, that did nothing. That... that did nothing! Although it did heal a fair amount. Alright, let's Sweet Kiss. Oh, nice crit, buddy! Ugh. Alright, well, so much for that. Um... Alright, we need... I feel like if I got Wrinkle Bite or Bitterdale healed up, that'd be a good thing. How do I stop this thing? Uh, Magic Beam, maybe? do that. We'll see what happens. I mean, if I can Drain and Kiss, that'd be nice. If you could hit yourself, that'd be great. Hey! Okay. Um, oh, you do have Baby Doll Eyes. That's kind of nice. I'm gonna go full force. Let's just see if we can take the... Oh, come on! You snap out of confusion after one turn. <laughs> uh, yep. Oh, here comes the, uh, the thing. Alright, we're gonna baby doll eyes. Oh, you didn't heal! Okay. I thought for sure, uh, he was gonna heal. All right, well, Go-Goat's down. Now we have to deal with something else. Oh, that was such a tough, tough thing to take out. Oh, Attract! Cloudfeet wants Attract. Um, well, I have the TM for that. I can teach that whenever. I don't really think you need it. Okay, Weeping Bell. Hmm. I should probably switch out. Alright, let's send out Bitterdale. No, I think I only used one healing item on Jump Up. Oh, no, that's right! He did use two. I was thinking he only used the one. But, that's right, it did get him down all the way. So yeah, he wouldn't have used another healing item. Okay, great. That solves that. Yeah, I thought for sure he used just one. I think I was thinking that that would be the case at one point in the fight. But then, yeah, because that's what, that's what it was. Oh, nice flinch! There we go. It was when, uh, like, I... Use Rock Tomb and it did so much, like it was more than half, so I'm like, oh, okay, I guess we're gonna take him out. 
but then it didn't. <laughs> so, yeah. Bitterdale was super useful in this fight. Like, holy moly. That was really good. <laughs> that was a good fight. Like, that was definitely a challenge. And a good one. Alright, well, we did it. Yay! We got the plant badge! Now I can use fly, so I actually have to get a Pokemon that can fly. Because none of mine can. I can't get any fairy types that can fly. Or beating the game. Alright, but that's gonna do it. I gotta go on break. <laughs> so I will see you guys in just a few minutes. Oh yeah.